What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 quick tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to continue working on our sliding door and hardware model that we've been working on for the last few days. So in today's video we're going to go through and we're going to model out our door as well as duplicating our door hardware so that we have two sets like we would in real life. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so I will link to the playlist containing the rest of this series in the notes down below if you want to follow from the beginning. But basically what we have now is we have our track modeled and we also have our hardware modeled and so the first thing I'm going to do is because I have this hardware modeled in here um, and it's all in here as individual bodies it can be really easy to pick up the different parts and pieces and other things like that because they're in here as individual bodies so what I want to do is I want to move them all into a group so I'm just going to take everything for right now and this is more just to manage everything but we're just going to right click on our body section and click new group we're going to go ahead and name this door hardware one. And then we're just going to take all of these and select them. So these are all the objects that make up that door and hardware. We're just going to right click on this and click move to group. And then we're going to select the group that we just created and we're going to click OK. What that's going to do is that's going to move everything in this group in this folder so that you're not accidentally picking up all the different parts and pieces and other things like that. We may do that with our track a little bit later. That gets a little weirder because these are in here as components. Um, but for right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start modeling out our door. And so we're going to make this a very simple door. Um, we're going to make it just out of one by four. So we're assuming we're going to have one by fours running the length of the door. And then we're going to have another set of one by fours on the face kind of holding everything together. So to start off, what I want to do is I want to draw my door in here on top of this object. And you don't need to draw it on top of the object, but I think it's going to be a little bit easier. So what we want to do to start with is we want to start by creating a construction plane right here. And we could really draw this anywhere and then move it in place, but I'm going to go ahead and draw on top of this, uh, this little hanger object for right now. So to do that, we're just going to create a tangent plane. So it's going to be tangent to this face, and then it's going to ask for a reference plane. And in this situation, we're just going to select this flat face right here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn construction on so that you can see the plane. But you can see how this creates a plane that sits right on top of this uh, cylindrical shape. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then we can come in here and we can start modeling the profile of our door or our door wood pieces on top of this. So I'm just going to create a new sketch and I'm going to click on this plane right here. What that's going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to model out my door. And so in this situation, what I want to do is I want to model out the size of one of the planks. So in this case, it's going to have a thickness of three quarters of an inch. And then it's going to have a length of three and a half inches. So that's going to be the actual dimension of the piece of wood that we're going to use. Then once you do that, you can just draw a rectangle in order to close this in and you can click finish sketch. And so now if we go back home, you can see how we have our profile right here. And so what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to extrude it to give it length. So to do that, I'm going to click on this face using the extrude tool and I'm just going to give it a distance of negative seven feet. And I'm going to make sure I set my operation to new body. So when I create a new body, that's going to create this as an individual piece right here. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And then we can take this and kind of replace it um, or remove it around now that we've created that. So we can just use the move tool to kind of move it sideways. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this body, activate the move tool, and I'll actually use the point to point in order to select an origin point right here and a target point centered on this piece right here. So what that does is that centers this with this object and then I can just move it up a little bit so it's in the position that I want it to be. And this doesn't need to be super precise um, anymore. It just needs to be kind of where you would hang this um, in real life. And so now what we want to do is we want to duplicate this board um, so that we can create the rest of our door. And so we can assume that our door opening is going to be something like 36 inches wide. So in this situation of our door is 36 inches wide and each one of our wood pieces is three and a half inches. We can just do 36 divided by 3.5. And that'll put us at about 10.28 pieces of wood. So you could either shorten this door or you could rip that piece of wood on the end down in order to make this a little bit smaller. 
So in this situation, we're just going to create 10 copies of this and call it good. And so what we want to do in order to do that is we want to take this piece and we want to use the rectangular pattern tool in order to make a copy. So we've got our body selected. Now we want to give this a direction. So I'm going to click on direction and I'm going to click on this line right here. And then we're going to leave our distance type at spacing. And we're gonna go ahead and drag this over. And you can see how when we drag this over, you can set a width. Well, in this case, we wanna set our width to the width of our board. So that's gonna be negative 3.5 inches, right? And then we said we needed about 10 pieces of wood. So we're just gonna take this, make it 10 pieces, and click OK. And what that did is that created 10 copies of this wood piece moving in this direction. Um, all spaced at three and a half inches so that they're flush. So you can see how now these faces are flush in here. So now what we need to do is we need to model out the wood that goes on our face. And so that's fairly easy to do because we have most of our wood in here already. So what we wanna do in this situation is we wanna select the two bodies that are already in here. So they're gonna be the two end pieces and we're just gonna use the move tool in order to copy them out. So when we activate the move tool, we're just gonna click on create copy and we wanna click and drag this out, and we wanna move these out three quarters of an inch because that's the thickness of our wood piece. So basically what we've done is we've copied these two pieces onto this face, and they make up kind of the border piece that goes around our door. And so now we just need to come in and we just need to model our pieces that run this way, our kind of horizontal supports. So, and that's pretty easy to do as well. You can just create a sketch and you can just select the face on the inside of one of these and just rough out the size of a board. So in this case, the board, if you remember, is gonna be three and a half inches long. It'll be three quarters of an inch wide and then you can just use the rectangle tool in order to close that in to create that face or to create that sketch that we can extrude into our face. So that sketch has been created right here, and then we just wanna extrude this all the way across here. And so what we wanna do is we wanna extrude this across and we can either type in a distance or what's gonna be easier is if we set our extent to two object with this active, we can just rotate around and then click on this face well, that face is the object. So it'll basically extrude this out until it meets another object, which is gonna be this one right here. And you can either set that as join or new body. Um, in this situation, because we're not really gonna be dealing with these separately, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just leave it as a join for right now. Actually, no, you don't wanna do a join. You want to do a new body because we're gonna copy it. So we're gonna select this face, set our extent to object, right here, we wanna set this to new body and click okay. And so what that's done is that's created one horizontal piece right here. Well, now we just wanna use the, uh, the rectangular pattern tool in order to create a copy, so, or two copies. So we just wanna click on create and we want to set our pattern type to bodies. We wanna click on this object and we wanna set our direction on this vertical plane. So we'll click on this line right here and then we just wanna move this down until this aligns with the face down here on the bottom. And in this case, I think this is probably about negative 40.25. That looks like that'll align us with the bottom plane. And then we wanna make sure that we've got it set to create a copy in the middle here as well. And so you can adjust that either by dragging this slider in order to create more copies or by typing in values. So in this case, we just wanna make sure this is set to three. And click OK. And so what we've done is we've come in here and we've created a door that's hanging off of our hardware right here. And so we could take all of that and put it in a group as well. So for example, we could right click in here and we could create a door group. And then we could just take all of these bodies and we could right click and we can move them to this door group. So that way everything is nicely organized over here and you're not trying to guess where the different parts and pieces are. And so the other thing I wanna do is I wanna create a copy of my door hardware that aligns with the middle of this point right here. So we're just gonna take all of this and we're just gonna use the move tool 
and we may need to go inside of our group in order to do this but we're just gonna take this and create a copy right here and we're just gonna move this across until it aligns with this object so and we just want to make sure this is centered in this board which it looks like it is we'll type in a value of negative 31.5 that's probably going to be the actual value right here and we're going to click OK and so now what we have is we have our wood door in here and depending on the way this wood door is put together this might either look like planks on the back or it might have a wood piece around the side there as well in this case I'm assuming that this wood on the front is going to hold the whole thing together and so our door is basically done so now what we have is we have a door with hanging hardware as well as a track that we've modeled out in here. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how to start animating the movement of this door moving back and forth inside of Fusion 360. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Do you like this series? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.